Team Sakanda. We are from Singapore. We have had little prior experience in robotics until joining the school robotics club this year and participating in the RCAP iCool challenge earlier this year. The, ca- the category we are participating in is the RCAP Core Space Rescue First Steps U19 uh, competition. In this competition, we have to code the virtual robot to maximize the points earned by collecting red, cyan, and black objects and making the robot, the robot deposit it in the orange deposit zone within the time limit. Problems we investigated. 1. The robot was moving too slowly. 2. Crashing into walls. 3. Having both wall rotation and centering. 4. Wasting time avoiding traps when not loaded. The methods we used were that we tried to uh, get write down the, the various ideas for the logic we wanted to code and then discuss which one we thought was the best. From there, we coded the best solution and troubleshooted and like uh, debugged. The conclusion, a brief summary. Some of the ideas we came up with were not easily implemented or feasible. We learned new ways of combining strategies through the competition. We also did a bit of testing with the values to determine which values to use. For example, the ultrasonic values, color values, and the weightage. Analysis. A challenge task analysis. Our main task is to uh, make the robot pick up red, cyan, and black objects located around the map and deposit them within the time limit while avoiding traps and trying to get the highest score. Uh, challenge task analysis. So the task can be broken down into a few mini tasks. For example, the robot can be tasked to collect as many RRCCBB sets as possible. It can also be tasked to move to coordinate to the deposit zones once it is ready to deposit. It can also avoid traps when loaded with four or more objects. The overall mission was completed will be completed if the mini tasks are completed. AI algorithms you use included um, adjusting the speed, trap avoidance, wall rotation, and centering. Speed. When the robot is loaded with two or more objects, it will slow down. If not, it will run at speed 100. This helps speed up the robot's blind sheet for objects. Trap avoidance. Our robot does not avoid traps when loaded with two or less objects. When we are running our code, we realized that the robot spent a lot of time trying to avoid traps even when it was not loaded. Thus, we decided to code it to only avoid traps if it had two, more, two or more objects. Wall rotation and centering. Both of, we coded a robot to both avoid walls and try to remain at the center of two objects if it was in a pathway. Wall rotation refers to the robot using its three ultrasonic sensors to avoid crashing into walls. Centering refers to the robot trying to remain in the center by evening out its values of its right and left ultrasonic sensors. For example, if the robot has a right ultrasonic sensor value of 12 and a left ultrasonic sensor of value 14, it will move to the left to average out the two values. This is the test run of our bot.
as you can see, the robot is using centering, so it is circulating around this area of the map where it is trying to keep within the wall and the obstacle. Tools and resources we used included the Sublime Text Editor, Replit, uh, Mean GW, and Google Meet in order to communicate and code. Communicate. Advantages uh, of these uh, tools and resources were that the robot wastes less time searching, it wastes less time on traps when there are no objects, and has both centering and wall rotation. Implementation. How the algorithms and tools being used to solve the challenge mission. The wall rotation and centering is used for the basic movement functions of the robot. The trip avoidance and speed were used to optimize and maximize the score earned by the robot. Debugging. Some of the questions we asked were, is the robot performing as what you have planned or coded? Uh, and and uh, we realized that some parts of the robot are working as we planned. However, we did not implement all of our ideas. Uh, the possible cause of this is that we were unable to debug it. So for the issues that we had to fix, uh, we went through the logic to see which parts were the problem, and we also tested our code on Replit to see if it was if they made if the logic was flawed, and we were still un if we were still unable to solve the problem, then we would seek help from others. Conclusion: We were able to get a score of one thousand two hundred with our Drew I and I cool, but we did not do as well and got a range of scores from one thousand to one thousand four hundred and fifty. It was rather inconsistent, and we were not very satisfied with it. We will work on optimize. Uh, if we were given a chance to redo the challenge, we will work on optimizing the different strategies that we have already implemented, and also adding the ones that we did not manage to add this time. However, we were looking to do it. What have we learned from our experience? First of all, communication. It is very important to make sure that both partners understand what, uh, what, what one another are saying and can respectfully communicate. Two, time management. The time given to code was not much, especially with exams in the, uh, in the time that we had to do this competition. So we had to learn how to uh, manage our time properly and allocate enough time to do the coding for the uh, competition. Number three, adaptation. We had to find new ways to communicate and troubleshoot especially during this COVID-19 period. And number four, resilience. We learned to persevere no matter how frustrated we were with the, the robot and uh, uh, continued uh, coding and debugging, uh, even though the robot wasn't working exactly how we wanted it to. Sorry. What would you like to share to other course participants? Firstly, we would like to state that this is a learning experience for all of us. Even though some of us may not have gotten what we intended to, um, we still think that ultimately this is a learning experience for all of us and it is what we've learned from it that we should value the most. Two, flexibility. During this time, there are a lot of challenges that we face, especially if we are working together with someone else. Um, this teaches us that we need to have flexibility in the ways that we communicate and also when we are um, coding the robot, we may meet certain obstacles and we can not be narrow-minded and only stick to one way. Three, time management. As you mentioned earlier, we had exams and I'm sure that others ha also have other things on and to during their lives. So we have to allocate in a sufficient time and use it wisely to obtain the results that we desire for this competition. Four, perseverance. As you mentioned earlier, there were a lot of challenges that one faces when we are coding the robot so that we hope, uh, so we hope everyone uh, has learned to persevere through this competition. And all the best for the finals. Thank you.